This video is sponsored by TS Robot. More on them later on the video. Sometimes controlling the speed of a DC motor is an important task. I use PM DC motor most of the time in my small projects because it is cheap and very easy to control. There are many ways to control the speed of a DC motor, but the most efficient and easy way is PWM control. Hey, hello guys, this is Shubhabrata and welcome back to my channel, Circuitation. Today, in this video, I will show you DF Robots all new light and motor driver module for Python and also show you how to control the speed of a DC motor or brightness of a LED strip light using this module. So don't skip the video, watch till the end, let's get started. The light and motor driver module for Python I am using in this video is sponsored by DFRobot. DFRobot is a leading robotic and open source hardware provider company. You can find plenty of open source and unique hardware on their website. You can get the link in the description below. And if you go through my link, you can get a discount on your purchase. There are many PWM controller board in the market. Even I made a DC motor speed controller in one of my previous videos. So what's new in this DF robot light and motor driver module? This module has four modes. The first mode is PWM control or analog control mode. The second mode is UART control or serial communication control using Arduino or any other microcontroller. The third one is PC software control. And the last one is direct control via PC using Python code. Yes, you heard me right. You can communicate with the board directly by using Python code without any microcontroller. This is the light and motor driver module for Python. You can use 5 to 24 volt DC to drive a motor or a LED light. The amount of current this board can handle is up to 10 amperes. This port is for applying power and this is for connecting motor or LED strip light. We have a push switch here to start and stop the motor. Along with this, a header pin is available for connecting external push switch for the same operation. You can connect a potentiometer to this 3 pin screw terminal or to this 3 pin header directly. Here is a 4 pin GST connector. This port is used for UART communication with microcontrollers. For directly drive this board via the software or the Python code, here is a USB C type port to directly connect with PC. And we have a slight switch here to change the mode between analog and communication mode. In analog mode, you can control the motor using the potentiometer. And in communication mode, you can control the motor using Arduino or any PC software. The heart of this board is this microcontroller, CH552. It is a 8-bit USB microcontroller having two 8-bit PWM output and one UART communication port. If you want to know more about this microcontroller, you can check the datasheet of this microcontroller. Link is given in the description. The first mode is analog control mode or potentiometer control mode. To configure this mode, you will require DF Robots light and motor driver module for Python. I am using a 12 volt 1 ampere DC adapter for powering up this board. Then I am using a 2.1 mm DC barrel socket for connecting the adapter to the motor driver board. You will require a PMDC motor. Here I am using a 200 RPM geared motor. And at last you need a potentiometer to control the speed of the motor. You can use any potentiometer starting from 4.7K to 470K. I am using a 100K potentiometer. You have to slide the switch to the analog position for the analog control mode. I have connected all the components according to this circuit diagram. 
after powering up the board the motor will start to rotate and you can control the speed of this motor by using this potentiometer You can turn on and off the motor by pressing this switch here. And you can control the speed from 0 to the maximum level, which is 200 rpm for my motor. If I connect a LED strip instead of a motor, I can also adjust the brightness of this LED strip. If you are enjoying this video so far, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. It will encourage me to make more exciting videos like this. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Do it right now. Now let's have a look on the second mode, which is UART control or serial communication mode. In this mode, you can control all the features like speed control and on and off the motor by using Arduino or any other microcontroller. To configure this mode, you will require an Arduino along with the previous components. But we don't need the potentiometer now. You have to connect the Arduino to the module according to this circuit diagram. For coding the Arduino, you just have to include the software serial library. I am using the example code written by DFRobot. You have to define the software serial pins here. In my case, the software serial pin is pin number 10 and 11. For serial communication, this module follows RS485 standard. There are several functions for controlling the duty cycle frequency and enabling the motor. In the setup part, I have started the hardware and software serial and enabled the motor with a fixed frequency, which is 1 kHz. In the loop part, I am changing the duty cycle to control the speed of the motor. The value of the duty cycle is in 8-bit format, where 0 indicates 0% duty cycle and 255 indicates 100% duty cycle. For changing the duty cycle automatically, I have written two for loops. For more detailed explanation about the code, you can check my article. Link is given in the description below. For USB and UART communication, you have to slide the switch to the communication side. Now I will power up the board again. Here you can see the speed of the motor is increasing and it will also decrease as per my code. Now the speed is decreasing. Now it means zero speed now and it will increase again. In this mode, I can also start and stop this motor by pressing this switch. Now it is the time to communicate with the module directly with PC. DFRobot provides a very easy to use software to control the speed of the motor. So first, you have to download and install that software. You can get the link in the description below. Then you need a USB C type cable to connect this module with PC. In the software control mode, you can change the frequency and the duty cycle. In frequency control mode, 
you can change the frequency so the motor speed will also change for that purpose you have to fix the duty cycle in i am fixing it in 127 which is 50% duty cycle now i will increase the frequency and before that i will press the start switch to start the motor if i increase the frequency the motor speed will decrease and if i decrease the frequency the motor speed will increase you can see here now i will stop the motor and the next part is duty cycle control for that i have to fix the frequency i will fix the frequency at 1 kW now i will start the motor again and by adjusting the duty cycle from 0 to 255 i am able to control the speed of the motor as well as the brightness of led if i connect a led strip here zero represent the duty cycle of 0% and 255 represent the 100% duty cycle now let's understand the python code at first import time module to put delays in your code then import the board class from ping pong module to control this motor driver remember it is ping pong not ping pong by the way you have to pip install this ping pong module from command prompt next you have to import dri0050 class of the ping pong module it is required for the usb communication between the board and pc next we are declaring com port the board connected with in my case it is com3 next i am starting a while true loop and inside the while true loop i have two for loops for increasing and decreasing the motor speed by changing the duty cycle of the pwm signal in each step of the for loop i am increasing or decreasing the duty cycle percentage by 10% For more explanation as always feel free to visit my blog Now let's run the python code You can see here the motor speed is increasing from 0 to 100% And now the speed is decreasing from 100% to 0% As per the python code I have discussed earlier So this is the time for a fun project that I have made using this motor driver and computer vision. Now let's see that. Now observe carefully. If I move my hand in upward direction, the motor speed is increasing, and if I move my hand in downward direction, the motor speed is decreasing. If you want to know more about this project, then comment down below. I will surely make a video on this. Overall this module is very good but I have found two drawbacks number 1 if you control the brightness of the led strip in analog mode the led will flicker little bit but in high frequency control in other modes this problem will not happen number 2 is you can drive the motor only in one direction as this is the version 1 i think df robot will improve it in the next version If you love this video and learned something new then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your friend and technical community and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and you can join my telegram channel 
uh, link is given in the description and the most important thing be creative